Hi, good morning everyone. How are you all going? I, um, I do set up my camera before I start. <laughs> but I kind of set it up in the photo area. But Facebook kind of adds length and width and changes and yeah, that's all right. Totes professional here. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? Hopefully you can hear me over the rain. It's um, it's crazy, absolutely crazy here today. It's yeah, beautiful. I think I love that I've moved far enough north. Um, I used to live in Canberra, so yeah. Right now, I'm pretty sure everyone's in jumpers and blankets and stuff. And I really wanted to wear my leggings today. So I had to compromise with myself and um, go from leggings. Leggings means I've got to wear a tank top because it gets too hot. So I'm enjoying that. And yeah, just thinking, I find the rain really relaxing. It's really nice just to sit here and enjoy the rain. And Leave my glasses to see who's joined. Oh, hey, Megzy. Good morning. Thanks for joining. I was talking about how wonderful the rain is. Is it raining where you are? I don't know if it's a whole East Coast thing or, yeah. It was a beautiful surprise. It woke me up this morning. Like, I can deal with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I so wanted to check in. Um, oh, good morning, Rich. Lovely to see you. Um, yeah, how, how are people going this morning? How are you feeling? Um, even if you're watching the replay, pop comments in because Adi and I are here all day anyway, checking, checking the comments um, and responding to anybody. So yeah, how, how, how are you feeling with all the changes and um, the restrictions? You know, last night they put out a very strict do not leave home order um, unless unless it's for exercise or to go to work if you can't work from home and um, or to go to the, the pharmacy or whatnot so or the supermarket um, yeah how, how's that making you feel how's how's homeschooling making you feel I talking to some friends and um, or on our live on that Addy in my Facebook live last night and you know I kind of I feel for the parents but I kind of giggle and I'm not a terrible terrible person but you know I do giggle at the poor at like you know or not I don't think I don't think any of my friends who are parents thought they'd be homeschooling their children um and yeah now they're kind of gearing up for like all next term potentially so yeah, um, I feel for you guys, and I'm sorry for laughing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lara, you joined me live. Woo um, so a little uh, before we do our meditation, a little bit of a um, strategy that I wanted to share with you guys today. So when when we're in our a phase of hopelessness and um, and I know because that I was there when I um, start, when I started losing my vision and I couldn't do the things that I normally could do. I um, yeah I you you start to you 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 withdraw and you go in and you go insular um, and one way um, to get ourselves out of that insular that that we're all going to be experiencing um, and especially if this does last for 8, 12, 16, 24 weeks, we, um, we need to sort of start putting strategies in place now to, to stop that hard shell from, because um, it'll keep us in, you know, once we start thinking, um, we're going to go in deeper. Um, morning, Russ. So one strategy is to help somebody else. So just the simple act of generosity or giving, um, is, is, it's amazing. You should try it. Um, if you have tried it and you have been generous, pop, 
pop in what you've been doing. Um, and if you're watching this throughout the day, pop it in as well, because I love to, to generate ideas of how people can be generous during this time. Um, so yeah, they, you know, if it's, you know, if you're looking at other, if you're well, and you're looking at other Facebook groups, and you notice somebody is out of toilet paper, or, um, or perhaps you could put a post, you know, hey, I got a pack of 20 toilet paper today, or I got a pack of eight toilet paper today, and I'd love to share two, does anyone need them? Um, or I'm going to the shops today, I live in this area, can I pick up anything and drop it off at your doorstep? Um, because people, people are either at home really scared um, and they don't want to leave um, and they're healthy, but they don't want to leave because of all the, the, um, um, <laughs> what is the political correct word I can use? <laughs> um, because of what we're being told. We're being told to stay at home. Um, and so people, Lots of people are thinking that if they just pop out, they're going to catch um, coronavirus, but they think that they're also going to get it and die. Where, you know, statistically, we are, the disease is very easy to catch, but the number of cases of people who've caught it and then who have recovered, uh, like, it, it's, I think it's like 98% of people recover. Don't want to be in the 2%, um, but it's putting it, you know, it's less people are dying than those that, you know, catch influenza or get cancer. Um, so it's up to us who are a little bit stronger to, to support them. Um, and yeah, so, so yeah, let me know what would, what's something that you could do right now that would help somebody else? Um, you know, is making that phone call to your extroverted friend. Um, you know, it's, People are laughing at the jokes of like, hey, introverts, reach your hand out to your extrovert friend right now because they need it. Um, and they do. Hey, like, <laughs> I'm, um, you know, I'm going to be arranging balcony coffees with my neighbours soon because once I finish this retreat, it's going to be like, hello. <laughs> I can't go to the shops and talk to the shop people and I can't go to the beach and I can't go to my coffee shop and like... I, I, I like talking. I'm not going to go to TAFE. I don't know if I'm going to work. Like, what am I going to be doing? <laughs> so, yeah, um, it, that, that could be your act of generosity. And but the reason I'm saying is to be generous is because to be generous, you've got to get over, out of your own head. Like, to do something for someone else is, is about you stepping out of your comfort zone. And, and it's putting someone else before you. Because, you know, you've got that egg roll of toilet paper. What do you mean give two away? But my family need them. Like, do they? They do. But what if you put someone else first for a moment? And then, or if you've got a friend that, you know, for some reason can't get out of the house because of young children or, you know, babies or... Uh, their immunity is down. Why don't you make them a care package and drop that off at their door and surprise them? You know, I mean, you don't even have to get them to open the door and see you there, you know, if you wanted to do it all like romantic surprise or something. You know, it's all um, it's just about, you know, yeah, the doing a selfless act for somebody else. So, yeah, so that's good. Thanks for um, all your comments. Um, <laughs> giving me ideas that was sarcasm that's okay all right well hopefully you guys aren't as chatty about generosity but hopefully you'll be able to do something generous to other people and um yeah I think does it make sense um hopefully it makes sense as to you know and maybe you need to try it um to get it but yeah it's really good for your own mental health and your emotional health to uh yeah to give yeah and notice I didn't say give any money like it's it, it's you know not the old-fashioned generosity of giving um in the way that some of us think of generosity so yeah okay all right well that was my talk for the day my little chat and um let's do our meditation 
So I want you to all be sitting nice and comfy. Um, good morning, Chris. You've joined just in time for the meditation. Um, so yeah, have a seat or be lying down. Get yourself comfortable. You might have your legs crossed or if you're sitting on, the, on a chair, have your feet comfortable on the floor. And we're just starting our meditation. If you're lying down, that's fine. Just make sure you have a straight spine. It's really important when we're meditating to not be curved and comfy in a fetal type position. Um, keeping our spine straight sends that signal from the base of our spine up to our brain and, and that in itself exerts positivity and strength. If we're sitting, we have our hands, we have our left hand cupping our right hand in our lap and our thumb tips touching, like what I'm doing on the screen if you need to see. And then you're gonna place that right in your lap and pop your thumb tips up against your belly or your abdomen or your navel, wherever they kind of hit. And this is a traditional Buddhist uh, seven point posture, diamond posture. I'm teaching you today and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently bring your focus and intention into the meditation then I'm going to lead you through the physical posture and then I'm going to give you some time on your own just to scan your body up and down so having the silence is actually quite it's quite healing and therapeutic for the mind so um, Give it a go if you haven't meditated before. So closing your eyes gently. Just taking a couple of breaths. Just notice what you can hear. Notice the gentle rise and fall of your breath. Let's just bring our attention to the act of generosity. Have you been generous with people in your community or your family? Or perhaps you've seen acts of generosity on the TV or on Facebook. Lots of those working in essential services are working with an act of generosity. Or perhaps when you support your local business, that's an act of generosity. I want you to think of a time that you've been generous. When was a time that you did something for someone else and it was kind of hard for you. It was out of your way. Perhaps you gave time to a loved one or an elder, older person and you didn't have that time, but you gave them time because they needed it more than you did. Or perhaps you shared that last bite of dessert with your partner, even though you really wanted it, but you knew that they'd like it even more. All of those acts of generosity, just think about now tuning into your body. When you recall that, how does that make you feel? How does it make you feel to, to have had that that gift of generosity. And I want us to bring that feeling into our meditation this morning. And just sit there with that feeling. And those of you that have just joined, we're just doing that to start our morning meditation. So we have our legs crossed 
our hands in our lap and our spine straight. And I'm gonna guide you through about eight minutes of a Buddhist calm abiding body scan. We're gonna bring our attention first to our legs. Our legs are crossed. And I want you to draw all of your attention down to your legs, all of your energy down. Notice how strong they are, firm, they're mountain-like. They're grounding you to the earth, providing you with stability, not just in this meditation, but throughout your entire day. And then moving up to your hands that are resting in your lap. Your left hand is cupping the right hand. Your thumb tips are touching and they're pressing up against your abdomen. So it's balancing wisdom and compassion, two beautiful traits that we should bring into every aspect of our life. And then follow your arms up. Your elbows are gently tucked into your body. Going up to your shoulders. They're relaxed and down. And now I want you to notice the circle that's created by your arms. And as you follow that circle around, imagine the water element and that water is flowing through that circle, flowing through your abdomen, healing, rejuvenating, bringing life force energy to all of your organs, to your digestive system, cleansing, clearing and healing you. And then bringing our attention to the base of our spine. Your spine is straight like an arrow. Go straight up to your neck. And this is the fire element. I want you to bring the energy of fire to the, your base of your spine and feel that fire grow up your spine, up your back. And just like a fire, it's going to rejuvenate you, bring life to you, improve your attention and your awareness. And then we move up to our head. Your neck is tilted, your jaw is relaxed, your chin is gently tucked. You might have the tongue at the roof of your mouth, just behind your teeth. That helps with saliva. And if you can, try just gently opening your eyes. A soft focus of the eyes brings out a whole different meditation than having fully closed eyes. Just gently staring down the tip of your nose. And then bringing your attention up to the crown of your head and imagining a single point of hair gently being pulled up, keeping your spine straight. The head is the air element. Just imagine if there was a big windy breeze, gust of wind and how they blow all the leaves around. If the air element isn't balanced in your head, your thoughts are being blown around, tossing, turning, scattered, going from one idea to the next, to one fear to the next. So by focusing on the air element in our head and these single pointed focuses, we're able to calm the breeze and let our thoughts and the dust settle. And then after we've gone up, we come back down. So we go past the points again our eyes gently focused, 
touch it, tongue on the tip of our roof of our mouth. Our jaw is relaxed, chin is tucked, neck is tilted, shoulders are down and relaxed. Our spine is straight. Back to our shoulders, going down our elbows, tucked in, hands are in our lap. Make sure your thumb tips are still touching your own body. And then come down to your legs and remind yourself how firm and grounded you are. I'm gonna guide you up one more time and then you can do it on your own. So tuning into your legs, feeling the grounding, stable, your legs are crossed. Moving to your hands or in your lap, Left hand cupping the right hand, thumb tips touching. Elbows are tucked. Moving up to your shoulders. Imagine that circle, perhaps if you can, of the water element. Coming up your spine, your spine straight like an arrow. Fueling your attention with the fire element for this meditation. Coming up to your head, your neck is tilted, chin is tucked, your tongue resting on the roof of your mouth, your jaw is relaxed, eyes softly open, and that single pointed strand of hair at the top of your head, just double checking that you're not tilting forward or backwards. And then you bring your attention back down as quickly or slowly as suits you. Going past your eyes, nose, tongue, jaw, chin, neck, checking your shoulders are down, straight spine, that circle with your arms, elbows tucked, hands resting in each other, and back to that firm earth element grounding you with your cross legs. I'm going to leave you to scan up and down on your own. Your thoughts will pop in and that's okay. Try to bring them back to your posture. I'm starting at our legs, firm, grounding, mountain-like. If your mind wanders off, it's okay. Take a breath, catch the thought. Might need to blink your eyes or readjust your posture. It's okay. And then start again at your legs. And just remind yourself they're strong like a mountain, holding you in your posture and in your meditation.
draw your attention back to your body if your thoughts have gone away It'll just be less than a minute to go so try your hardest to just focus your attention on the different points of your body give your mind that beautiful rest and then it can think as much as it likes for the rest of the day. Now, I'd like you to draw your attention to your breath. And just notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest. And notice your body. How's it feeling? Is it relaxed? How's it been showing you that there's aches and pains? How's it feeling today? And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and then you can adjust your posture, move however you like. And then you can do a lovely namaste bow to each other, keeping your eye contact in the phone, which is a beautiful blessing of wishing people well for their day. There's a few different meanings for Namaste. They all, I like one of them, which is, um, uh, is it the blessings or the, the blessings in me see the blessings in you or the heart in me sees the heart in you. And yeah, I don't know how many are true. I guess we all just make up our own meanings for everything, don't we? <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. There's your morning meditation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to put any comments in, I would love to hear from you. Um, how did you find the meditation? Uh, if you were here yesterday, was it a bit easier doing the same meditation two days in a row? Was that kind of, um, yeah, what, what was that like? Was that easier to sit still or this time did your body go Oh my God, I know what you're doing and I'm not staying here. <laughs> um, how are your thoughts? You know, did you get to, um, did you, did you get some quiet time? Did your mind, did your mind get that rest that it so longs for? I'll wait a couple of minutes for comments and yeah, I, um, I'm to day six of my Buddhist at home retreat today. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's so lucky that, um, I mean, at, at first I was disappointed I couldn't travel to Rockhampton and see my Buddhist friends and, and, and practice with everybody in person, but doing it over Zoom is actually, actually quite good. You can see all our little faces and, um, you know, you kind of, the first day was a bit awkward. It's like, I feel like I'm here on my own and talking to the computer that we're starting to, for me, it's, it's starting to feel a bit like a family, which is good. So yes, not going too stir crazy. <laughs> cool, okay, well, maybe hit me up with a like or something. I'm not getting any comments, so hopefully you haven't written any and I haven't missed any. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thanks, Megzi, Richard, Lara, Russ, Chris, Mac. Hey, Louise. <laughs> 
Um, and Simone, thank you all for watching and for staying. That was really good. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, apologies if you have written comments and I've been, Facebook's not giving them to me today. So yeah, um, shine brightly and yeah, if you think any of your friends will benefit from this group, um, share it. It's growing really well. So it's beautiful to see. And yeah, <laughs> don't, oh, <laughs> my pen's like, I feel like saying to some of you guys, don't kill the children today. <laughs> so yeah, good luck everyone who's homeschooling. All right.